Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the latest update on the Game Ideator tool on Ludo AI. To begin with here, as you can see, we've added the Ludo Suggestions tool, which can help you with adding more keywords or phrases to your generations that will help you also with coming up with better results. Um, one, also, some of the options that you get on the Ludo Suggestions tool is that you can get trending elements or topics in the market which you can also add in real time let's try and generate one game idea to begin with let's choose the genre that we want to tackle here let's say we want to go for racing and we want to go for a desktop and let's choose isometric and for the phrases we can either start by typing our own phrases or we can pick something from here which i believe cyberpunk uh, future city and let's say tower defense so we want to merge tower defense with the racing genre and see what we can get let's also add city fighter Heightbound High Flyers or Extreme thriller, Thrills and Stunt Paradise. And let's click on Start Generation. Takes a few seconds. And you're presented with a new game idea. What we've added new here is that you can choose between the game ideas that were generated and as well you get more information about the game idea which explains the game idea the related game trends towards it um, similar trending games or similar games in the market to this game idea you can even check the game and uh, what type of creatives they have and what is the game about and if it's trending also in the market or not as you can see here uh, you can see the trends according to the country, to the genre, the peak rank, and so on. So all this information can be very helpful in your ideation process. If uh, we would like to choose uh, one of those uh, game ideas that we've generated, let's, for example, go for this one, Cyber Speedway Showdown, seems interesting to me. And uh, we can click on develop this idea. Now what's important here is that you want to know which approach you want to take. If you are um, just prototyping a new game idea, I advise you to go either for rapid prototype or gameplay focus and you'll be able to have some elements that will explain more about the game idea in order to have a better approach to your ideation process. And maybe then you can expand it to have the entire theme and storyline um, approach in the game design concept or you can also add it manually on top of the gameplay focus for this case we're just going to click on gameplay focus and just takes a few seconds and you're going to have your game idea generated in uh, multiple elements of the game as you can see here mechanics the objectives the rules the strategy the how to play gameplay image gallery so you can add more images to your game you can suggest art this is how the gameplay would look like I'm suggesting art also from Ludo you can see there's quite a bit of options here also you can add like new elements and to, to know more about how to use the game concept panel, uh, it's an entirely new uh, tutorial that you can also find on our channel. But I just wanted to present you on how to go on with the game ideator and update you about the latest updates that you can utilize to have better generations that are usually tailored to your experience based on uh, previous keywords that you also uh, used or uh, trending topics in the market. Thank you very much.